It is Friday, Aleph, Cheshvan will be on Saturday. The Ben Yishchai say, Nahagu, Learbot Beseudat Rosh Chodesh. On Rosh Chodesh, we need to eat more. And we need to eat something special for the Rosh Chodesh. Now what happens when Rosh Chodesh falls on Shabbat? On Shabbat, anyways, we eat more. Anyways, we do something special. So he says, Rosh Chodesh, that falls on Shabbat, Tzarich Liyod, Yoter special, more special. Either you add a dish, usually you make a salmon, and then you eat uh, steaks, something meat, on Rosh Chodesh, add another thing. Maybe also chicken. Depends, each one with his uh, food at home. Add another thing. Say, Ishti, my wife, please let's do another dish for Rosh Chodesh, something that to feel, to feel that the specialty of Rosh Chodesh. That falls on Shabbat. You tell me what you're going to do on Shabbat. That's what the Ben Yishchai is saying. Now, on Rosh Chodesh, usually, we eat bread. There's a mitzvah to eat bread on Rosh Chodesh. On a regular day, there is no mitzvah to take two bread and make bracha on two bread. It's a regular day. It's not Shabbat. On Shabbat we do it because it's a remembrance for the man that was coming two portions. So we take two bread and we make a bracha. But on Rosh Chodesh we don't have that. Eh, on a regular day we don't have that. The Kaf HaChaim Sofer says a chitush. He says, but on Rosh Chodesh there is a mitzvah to be mehader if you can take two kikarot shelechem, two bread, also on Seudat Rosh Chodesh. He says it's good to do so. By the way, also in Seudat Ravit on Shabbat, the fourth meal, a lot of people, they make it, uh, okay, pizza and stuff. It's okay, I'm not saying it's asu. But if you can... Be machmir to take two breads, to take two pizzas. Put them together, gacha. I don't know if it's on the cheese side or on the other <laughs> side. This is already you decide. And you make amotzi lechem in haaretz. Like, mamash, why? Because it's like a seuda of Shabbat. All the seudot of Shabbat, we make two bread. So also seuda of it needs to be the beauty. <laughs> the Ben Yishchai says, this is how you should do it. If you eat something, okay, you go, you eat shawarma for Sudan a bit. Usually people go out. He takes a lafa. Well, how is he going to do? Huh? <laughs> so what do you do? You eat a lafa on Motzei Shabbat. You want to do lechem mishneh too? Ben Yishchai say, what are you going to do? Why are you going to buy two shawamas? I'm going to tell <laughs> you why. Give me, give me all. Yeah, I'm what are you going to do? I'll tell you. You take one shawarma and then take another piece of either bread. It could be even uh, something from the freezer. Or you can just ask for a bread just for the bracha. Does it have to be you take shana? the waiter, you say, waiter John, come here for a second. <laughs> can you give me another bread? But I give it back to you. Don't charge me for that. <laughs> what do you mean? I just want for the bracha. Or you can even take a cookie. If you have a cookie, if it's whole, shalem, it's considered like mecha mishneh, like another bread. You can do that, lechatchila. So also on Rosh Chodesh, you say, if you can make for two breads, tavo alav bracha, that's a good thing to do on Rosh Chodesh. <laughs> No. Okay, so that's a good question. Usually, on Fridays, the halacha states we're not allowed to eat bread lechatchila after after shat mincha gedola, which is around one thirty. So from one thirty, you shouldn't eat bread on Yom Shishi on Friday. Every Friday. Why? Because on Shabbat, you need to be yeah. coming to Shabbat to eat it with, uh, with appetite. If you eat bread, so, so without Shabbat, you're not going to feel it. Uh, it's not going to be uh, enjoyable for you so much. So Hamim says to not eat soda. So if you have 
every Rosh Chodesh you eat Seuda, and Rosh Chodesh falls on Shabbat, what's the problem? Eat it in the morning. What up? No, in the morning there's no problem to eat. You want to eat in the morning, breakfast, eat with bread. Chatechila. And there's a shum bayad, there's no problem with that anymore. After chatzot, you want to be machmir after chatzot. Chatzot is one. No problem. So this is regarding Rosh Hashanah. Yechabed et seudat Rosh Chodesh v'shulchan. ולא בדרך ארעי ויהיה מסה בדרך כבוד, יישא סעודת ראש חודש. Don't eat in the car. Don't eat outside. Eat it on a table. כבוד. Also someone asked me this chag on שמחת תורה. Someone invited him to for a barbecue on שמחת תורה. או שמיני עשרת. He says, הרביי. They invited me for barbecue in the holiday. Is that allowed? So I asked him, what, what do you mean allowed? Allowed halachically? Yes, you can do from fire to fire. Light the coals, the gechalim, and make barbecue on chag. There's no problem. It's actually even easier. You don't have to turn it off. It turns off by itself. Yeah, but you can you do barbecue? I said, oh. באמת, you see, even you feel that it's not a כבוד for the חג. It's not a... Why? Because when you do barbecue, how people eat? Standing. They standing, the guy here take this, there, outside here, outside there, and you make a buffet, everybody takes whatever you want. So then, you lose the holiday feeling. The holiday means everybody sitting around the table, making a kiddush normally, make a bread, amot silecha min ha'aretz. Eat the kazait, after the kazait, you eat mana rishona, mana dada, mana shniya, you know. So באמת, there is such a thing. Now, Allah hikli, there's no problem, you can make barbecue on the hood. But if this is a proper thing to do as a custom all the time, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, once in a while, if you do it for kiruv, you want to bring some people, you know. Some people, only if there's shashlik, they come. Only if there's barbecue, they come. Huh? So, okay, you want to be mekar of them? Okay, fine. To make it as a custom, I don't think. Same thing, Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh, make it on the table. So, you want to do barbecue for Rosh Chodesh? Metsuyan. But people sit on the table. Mesev ala shulchan, says the Ben Yishai. Lo bederech harai. Don't eat on the way, don't eat standing, don't eat outside. To show the importance of Rosh Chodesh. And whoever mechabed the Rosh Chodesh, Like it should be, Kadosh Baruch Hu bless all his months. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen ve'amen.